Hello guys, so today I'm testing the iStar Verdant In here it says Acida because it's the manufacturer It's a, this one it's the 800 size reel as it says in here I have it with some nice thin braid 06 and I have it paired with a Mifine Ghost Blade I just have a 0.5 shave weight on the end of the line with some soft plastic and I'm trying to catch anything that wants it let's open the drag so we don't stress the fish and see what lurks in here the reel is very very light it's under 140 grams it's 136 i think it's even lower of what they have on the aliexpress page either way i like it so There's a fellow fisherman over there, but he has a bag, so not a good sign, at least for the fish. Let's see on this side. To the window, to the floor. I don't see a lot of fish today. It's actually quite weird. Well, they went on a bit on the feeding frenzy, uh, f ah, feeding frenzy when I... Nice. Yes! Cool guy. Weird action that I put to entice these fellas. Very, very weird. Jesus. Let's see if I can get another one like this. A lot of followers when I do this. So this is a first. Ah. Do you want faster retrieves? What? Who have guessed it? Ah. And I don't want to be snagged. So now with a smaller weight. Whoa! Another guy. Still not use the drag today. Overall, I'm really digging the iStar Verdan. I don't know if it will stay on the $25 mark, 
but if it stays it's a very 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 solid wheel again Acida doesn't disappoint or Acida or Azida whatever you may call it working good keep the good work like this wheel it feels pretty solid on the hand and the rod also is going great I don't see no fish over here, it's very very weird So I'm casting zero point between 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 grams and the line has no problems what the heck the line has no problems coming out of the reel which is the most important thing even though I have a huge leader and if you see the line getting caught it's getting caught on the braid Ooh. some fish jumping over there but I was uh, it's the leader not getting getting the the line that is coming out I had a couple of follow-ups from uh, Sunfish Ah, right on the trees Cooking all the fish because of a bad cast. Nice. Also should up my hook ratio because this hook is thinner and the weight is lower so fish cannot use the the weight of the rig as leverage to get unhooked scrapping for it but again getting just the tail end ah it was a, a big one and now it's spooked it was a decent size fish but the line got under rock and screwed my hook set earlier this day I already caught some fish during bag. the review of the Mifine Ghost Blade as you can see in here from the some of the clips of me catching fish the last one is actually a nice one for this type of fishing but getting back on the I Star Verdant review psych another one ah. 
Actually, I'm quite pleased with the I Star Verdant. Pretty cool reel. And actually, I'll just do the outro or the summary for the video. So the reel is fast enough where I think I can get away with fishing all the techniques that I need on super ultralight, even if I want to throw some like 1 gram or 1.2 grams or 1.5 grams uh, poppers, uh, crankbaits, whatever, I feel confident that I can do it. It has no problems managing a light line with 0.3 grams or whatever it is. Oh, something big after my... Uh, it lost interest. Um, I have no problems um, casting this, at least with uh, line managing. I didn't run in any problems other than having a big leader and it sometimes getting the line caught on the knot but that's not the real fault the line just got the spool and actually the spool should have have a little bit more line in it but i made uh, bad calculations that uh, actually that's my only critique about this wheel the spool should be um shallower because nowadays no one is actually using uh, mono, so you don't need that much uh, that much real X state on the on your on your real spool for the for mono. Just need enough to put like 100 meters of braid. That will not take nothing. It's not a lot of space. But I had a blast with a High Star Verdant. This one is a keeper. I really like it's very, very, it's actually a very, very good looking reel. And I hope this is a start of a lot of super ultra light wading content on the end of now, we're still on summer, but on the end of the summer beginning of autumn, well, this cause fall, and let's see what we have for us on the next few weeks, but I'm very, very eager to continue to wait and make content for you guys. If you like the video, leave a like. If you are not subscribed, subscribe. Watch the videos. I don't know if by now I'll be already monetized, but that will help a lot because Anything helps funding the purchase of gear that you like to see reviewed. Even though this is a budget reel, it's $25. I review a lot of stuff and I cannot rely on AliExpress because they are... Uh, and they are always flagging me for spam, even though I only post links on uh, my videos on YouTube. Either way very happy with the reel and i'll see you guys on my next video bye